first thing to do is sterilize your hands using alcohol. Sometimes it's better to wash your hands first and then sterilize your hands with alcohol. Then the table needs to be cleaned just as well with alcohol. You spray it on and then wipe it down twice, making sure you've covered the entire surface, cleaning it off so there's no contamination around. We're using butter knives to break apart the spawn, so these need to be sterilized as well. It doesn't have to be an infinite sterilization with flame, but just enough to get them clean. The pressure cooker's still got pressure, so that means whatever's inside is still sterile. There's been no air introduced. And now we're opening it, allowing the pressure to escape, and it's in the sterile environment, so the air that's going in won't contaminate the bags inside. So the stopcock is turned and we're taking the lid off, going around evenly so that we're not changing the angle of the lid. So these are on pretty tight, you have to loosen them. And then you slip the lid sideways so the latches don't get caught. And inside we have the substrate the wood chips with uh, wheat bran in it. It's been under pressure for four hours with steam, hopefully getting rid of all the contaminants. So we're carrying these bags over into the front of the flow hood and we're getting sterile air into the bag so the space is open. The spawn jars are opened and we're using the butter knives to break apart the spawn because it forms real tight bonds. The mycelium grows into the rye grain and it just becomes a solid lump. So we have to break it apart. So the hi-fi, those are the threads, the monofilament-like threads that form the mycelium, can be broken into little pieces. So when we tump the grain spawn into the bag, it can form those bonds with the sawdust and the, the wood shavings and start to grow through the substrate. So once we get this in here and shake it around a bit, this will be set aside to colonize, which means the mycelium is going to grow through the the wood chips and eventually this bag will just be a white mass of mycelium that's grown together with the wood and it's going to be digesting the wood and eventually will become basically food for the mushroom fruit body to emerge from the top of the bag. So right now we're distributing the spawn into the bag as well as we can. And the final step in this procedure is to seal the top of the bag using the impulse sealer, which is basically a short blast of heat which binds the plastic together. So now we have a sterile environment 